Welcome back everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play the Stanley Parable. Well, we got destroyed by a nuclear detonation last time. And, uh, yeah, unfortunately. Oh, All well. of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. I want to see through these windows. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference, nor did it advance the story in any way. Yes. I want to see outside. What is outside? Or is it just a white light? Hmm. Keep dry. Four, five, six, four, five, seven. And to turn off what? Awaiting input. Oh. Oh. <gasps> that was my job as well. No. Kimmy, more input. I'm I'm pressing other things, but nothing seems to work. No. No. Damn it. Input received. I'll wait a little. What are these little things? Are these for diskettes? Oh no, I think those are those little calendar things, whatever. Come on. Damn it. Yeah. Did I do? Yes, I did that. <laughs> when Stanley came to a set no. of two open, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I'm going this way. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No. I'm going forward. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <laughs> Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. See, I'm still confused how they get it, Stanley. boxes up Your there. chance to redeem yourself. All right. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. All right. Whoa. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Who is it? Hello? H Hello? Mo. Oh. oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. Oh. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now, I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? Who'd want to commit their life to you? I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Uh, no. Sorry, what? but you're in my story now. Oh, no. He's an evil bastard. <sighs> Ow, that only hit, hurt my head. Hello, wife. Where, this where? is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. <gasps> no! Good morning, employee 47. Press P on your keyboard. No, I will not. Get me out of here. Wife, help me. Call 112. No, no. Call 113. Call the police. <sighs> Press P. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, 
and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Press Y. Look at him there, pushing buttons, oh. doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. No, I'm not going to press E. No, no, no. You press E. You press E. <sighs> oh, well, I'll press E. But in his mind, ah. In his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Proceed to watch TV. Well, this is an office desk. Does he, does Stanley use this to train at home? You know, pressing buttons. And so he began yeah. to fantasize what? about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Press H to spend time with the boys. What? So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Press 2 to prepare dinner. Uh, I'm guessing those things will disappear? As he wandered yes. through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. <laughs> and he called it the Stanley Parable. Press U to tell your kid the story. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. And again. Over and over. Wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. I don't trust that uh, mannequin. Press 9 to tell your wife you love her. I'll press 8 or 0. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, tilt. No, I have to press 9. But there is yeah. no answer. How could there uh -oh. possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. Press R to go to sleep. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley. The next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Okay, press R to be at work in the morning. I will not press it then. No, I'm not gonna press it. I'm not going to press it. Nope. Nope. Mm -mm. I guess we'll have to. Will we? No? Yes? Yeah, I don't think he's gonna do anything until we do press it. Oh, well. You infernal machine! You see? Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? We're back to question nothing. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose, the same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. 
And I tried again. Uh. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Yeah. We died. We died. This game can be creepy. That's what I'm going to say. Alright. Let's try going back to the baby since you already mentioned it. Oh, this is different. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Nope. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the first time understood true happiness. <laughs> then the feeling went away, and he felt sad again. Then it came back, and lingered for a minute or two. Now it's only half there. Just a kind of, um, tingle. <laughs> Alright, let's go. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope. Going over here and jumping Stanley down. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Not to our deaths, of course. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing... What? Really? <laughs> I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Yes. Well, I, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. you to can't. show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. No. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. No. Aha. <laughs> Perhaps you misunderstood. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. Red door. I still don't think we're communicating <laughs> properly. Stan All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, yes. don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map <laughs> because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Aliens. Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. All right. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. No. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Huh. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? No. Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. A one? <laughs> I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? <laughs> That's not even helpful. What am I supposed to do with that? Uh, but I guess it isn't my place to judge. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Right. Let's take a look. Hmm, there is a screen. The Stanley Parable Worldwide Leaderboard. We've already seen that. We're at the bottom. <laughs> he completed in two seconds. <laughs> Only the worst 3% players chose the blue door. <laughs> no, I'm going here. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? No. Again, honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and uh. now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. It's a bloody baby. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? No. Perfect. Let me boot it up. Uh, bloody 
baby thingy. <sighs> In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, <laughs> and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. I wonder, uh, I wonder what happens if you... Oh god, that sound. Uh, I wonder what happens if you really play it for four hours. You probably go mental before that. <laughs> oh my god. Get me out of here. <laughs> Is it possible to play this for four hours? I'm not sure. Yeah. Can't look. Can't look. That's enough. Oh. I thought he was already burning. Let's see. He is burning. Oh. <laughs> you heartless <laughs> bastard. <laughs> Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? <laughs> Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Oh. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What oh, yeah. do we have here? <laughs> yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Minecraft. So many people have asked me to play Minecraft, and I already did. I did it last time, and now I'm going to play it again. So, <clears throat> welcome everyone to a new Let's Play. We'll be playing Minecraft. Well, Stanley, yeah. is this any better? At last, the one thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? Well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. <laughs> I'm going to be in the way. <laughs> this oh, will go be. here. No. Here and then, <laughs> let's see what does it need. I uh, yes, of course, and just to finish it all off, yes, it's complete. Wow. I made this standing. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. It is amazing. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. Isn't it grand? Yes. Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. All right. Let's go and mine for diamonds. Wait, can we actually get to that side? Yes, we can. No, actually we can't. Because that tree is in the way. There's some water there. Oh well. Oh my, it looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? Oh, I can't get there, damn it. Oh, I could have got... no, never mind. Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. <laughs> I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. Ugh. 
zombies or something. Like, <laughs> oh well. Come on then. Oh yeah, portal. <laughs> yes, I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. That's angry. What's that thing? There we go. Oh, it's, it's stopped. Aperture science. Oh, right. Oh, it's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. You're forty. I want a companion Genius. cube. No, actually, you know what? Uh. I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more. Uh, I still have the radio. <laughs> Come on, radio, don't let me down. Ah! No, the radio. No. Radio, where did you go? No flashlight, of course. The last thing I need here now are zombies. Well, oh, four, two, three. Wait. Huh. That looks cool. Four to seven. Damn it. Come on, narrator. Give me a clue. Oh. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice. And if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. I'll be back. And we'll be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Arnold will be back. And we're back at the beginning. Damn it. Well, thanks for watching anyway. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.